All right, TCAPers, this is the seventh grade math uh, section, the practice test. Question number 50. The table below shows the time it takes Jason to complete a bike trail for each week for four weeks. If the pattern continues, which expression represents the time in minutes it will take Jason to complete the bike trail in week in? Now, of course, the first section that we're talking about here represents the week. So in week one, it took him 118 minutes to finish it. In week two, it 116. Week three, 114. What we're talking about here is the idea that he's getting a little bit faster each time, right? Because it takes him less minutes each week that he's doing it. Now, the nice thing about this problem is we're given multiple choice. So it's very easy to figure out what we're going to do. Basically, the values that we plug in on the first side should give us a value equal to the ones on the right. So really, this is kind of an f of x question equals whatever the x value we plug in. So this would be my x and this would be my f of x. We've done like a billion of these if you've been watching the videos. Also, you could just use logic. To go from 1 to 118, I cannot just add 2 or take away 2. So f and g make absolutely no sense. So if I plug in 1 to 1 plus 2, I get 3. But I'm supposed to get 118, so that can't be it. g is the same way. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. He can't have done it in negative 1 minutes. That makes no sense. So that's out. Uh, the next... Uh, option is 2n plus 120, which says I'm going to multiply the number and then add 120 to it. So let's try that. Uh, 2n plus 120. Uh, I'll try plugging in 1. So I plug in 1 here. Remember to put it in parentheses. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 120 gives me 122, but it's supposed to give me 118. So this one doesn't work either. So my only choice left is J. And let's just check to make sure it actually works. I'm going to multiply. I have negative 2n plus 120. I was getting ahead of myself there. So if I'm going to do negative, I'm going to do 1. I do negative 2 times 1. So I'm going to do negative 2 times 1 plus 120. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2 plus 120 it gives me 118. So when I plugged in this, I got this. That's a good thing. Uh, let's try plugging in 2. Negative 2 parentheses 2 plus 120. When I plug in uh, 2, I do 2 times negative 2, which gives me negative 4, plus 120 gives me 116. So I plugged in this, and I got this. Things are looking good. Uh, remember, if you've seen in the other videos, you always want to try three of them just to make sure, because we had one that the first two worked, the third one didn't. So don't fall into a trap of being lazy about this one. In this case, negative 2 times 3 is negative 6, plus 120 gives me 114. So when I plugged in the 3, I got the 114. So I feel confident in saying that the answer to number 50 is J, because when I plugged in the values in the first set, it always gave me the values in the second set or in the second column, which is exactly what I want to do to prove that it works.